So right now we're going to talk about um, the, GHA, the GHK equation and practice it. Now obviously GHK is an acronym, however this acronym is a German name and I don't want to embarrass myself by trying to pronounce it. Okay, so this equation solves for the overall resting membrane potential represented by V sub M of the cell. And again, this, rest, this resting membrane potential incorporates all the individual equilibrium potentials of the ions that you've already solved for using the Nernst equation. So in this example, only two ions, potassium and sodium, are permeable to this cell. Now the E sub K represents the individual equilibrium potential that you solved for earlier. In this case right here, potassium multiplied by the conductance of potassium. Now conductance is usually given to you and conductance represents um, G, obviously, and what conductance means is how permeable this ion is to the membrane, okay? And so, again, like we said, not every ion is as permeable to the other, to the membrane of the cell, okay? So again, equilibrium potential of potassium multiplied by the conductance of potassium added to the equilibrium potential of sodium multiplied by the conductance of sodium. And this is all set over the conductance of sodium added to the conductance of potassium, potassium and sodium. So let's give you a practice problem with practice numbers and everything. So we'll calculate the equilibrium potential, or excuse me, the resting membrane potential of potassium, which is at negative 62 millivolts, and has a conductance, or a G, of 10. There's your potassium. And also, um, for sodium, which has a positive equilibrium potential and a conductance of one. So as you can see here, potassium and sodium ratio conductance, potassium is a 10 time, potassium is 10 times more permeable to this cell's membrane than sodium is. Okay. And again, we need to sum the two conductance values. And remember that this, this equation can have multiple ions. As many ions are permeable to membrane, do the same type of setup and add a the conductance value, sum them on the bottom, divide it, okay? So for this equation, if you plug and chug this into your calculator, you should get a V sub M, or resting membrane potential, of negative 50.7 millivolts. Now let me explain again. Um, you can get a ratio for conductance, meaning, let's say in this next problem that you have a conductance ratio of potassium is 15 times more per permeable to the membrane than sodium. So you do V sub M, or resting membrane potential, equals negative 62 millivolts, and a conductance of 15, plus positive 62 millivolts, equilibrium potential of sodium, okay, conductance of one, and you sum those two together, okay? So practice this with, the pro with the, your partner sitting next to you, or your study group, and again, it's not too bad.